All right, our speaker for today is somebody we know well and who has been our spiritual leader for many years and still is the rock on which this church is founded. Chris Gary. That, that's high enough. <laughs> no problem. Uh, it's nice to look out on a sea of smiling faces and all this, the uh, people in Zoom land up on the screen. So I'd like to talk about fundamentals. Because when we have difficulties in life, we, if we go back to our fundamentals, we can get through that difficult patch a little more easily. For example, the fundamentals, this is tennis season right now, so the fundamentals of, t of tennis are position yourself to hit the ball, watch the ball, and hit the ball. So I'd like to tell a little story about Vic Braden, who was a famous tennis coach years ago. And when he was growing up, he was fascinated with tennis, and he would watch tennis matches. He would notice that between games, if a player wasn't doing well and the coach um, talked to them, they would inevitably do better after the, after the talk. So he always wondered if throughout the years, what was the coach talking about? Were they talking about some, some strategy to exploit the weaknesses of the, of the opponent? Or what was going on there? So he finally had an opportunity to become an assistant coach, and he was able to get close enough so he could hear what the coach was saying to a player that wasn't doing well. And he got up there and, he, and he, heard, he could hear the coach saying, you're not watching the ball. In other words, the player's not paying attention to one of the fundamentals of tennis. So the theme, same thing with our lives. Uh, when we have a, a difficult, rough patch, we want to take a look at our spiritual fundamentals. Why? Because speakers in the past and myself, we all, we all talked about the fact that we are spiritual, having a human experience. So it's our essence is spiritual. That's who we really are. So what are the fundamentals that we're talking about? Basically, our unity principles. But I'll, well, I'll elaborate on those a little bit, that we are connected to God. We are the essence of God. The essence of God is who we are. And Course in Miracles puts it real plainly. The only problem, the only real problem that we have is our feeling of separation from God or source or spirit or whatever, whatever word we want to use. But, and, but I, I say the feeling of separation because we are never separated, but we throw things, we cloud up our our feeling of connection to spirit. The next fundamental is that we, God is love, therefore we are love. And peace, joy, love, those are all the same, same thing. And that is our divine inheritance. We don't have to do anything to, or satisfy anybody to have God's love. That is part of our essence. And our purpose, is to extend that love out into the world, each of us in our own unique ways. And the fourth one I want to talk about is that, that the universe is joy-based or love-based. So that's the basis of the universe. So here's the key. If we are not feeling peaceful, joyful, then we are not feeling our connection to spirit and we are out of balance spiritually. So I'd like to use the, uh, a walking analogy. I'm gonna step back here a little bit to demonstrate. And when you think about it, when, when you're walking, what you're doing is you're leaning forward until you start to fall and then you step forward and rebalance yourself. And as you go, as, so it's, it's controlled falling basically. <laughs> So the point is that you're constantly out of balance and then rebalancing yourself, out of balance, rebalancing yourself. So the same thing 
spiritually. We get out of balance by a little anger comes up or we make a judgment that throws us out of balance. And then we can, we can uh, catch ourselves and rebalance ourselves by turning back to love. So the goal is to be able to do that, turning back to love a little more quickly each time so that it becomes automatic for us. Just, like, just as rebalancing ourselves when we're walking, that becomes automatic. And sometimes speaking for myself, I feel like a spiritual toddler because I'm still stumbling and falling, picking up, making a judgment, being resentful about something. Those are all stumbling blocks. So back to the coach analogy, if, if God was coaching and whispering, whispering in our ear, what would, he, what would God say? Remember, you are connected to me. So in the big picture, the, the whole universe and the, this material world is here for us to experience contrast and then be able to choose what we want hot and cold, love and fear. And so we make our choices. And our goal is to, when you're out of balance spiritually, is to take that out of the unconscious mode and be conscious of that so we can make, um, make a change, make a new choice. For example, you've all heard the story about you're walking down the street you fall into a hole and you, it takes you a few minutes to climb out of the hole. The next day you walk down the street and you fall into the same hole, but you just jump right out. The next time you walk down the street, you walk around the hole. And then the next time, next day you walk down a different street. So it's all about uh, choose choices, making choices, and then lighten up on yourself. And when you do fall into a hole, don't, don't condemn yourself. Just say, choose again. And choose that thought system of gentleness and kindness and, and peace rather than fear and hate. And then Jesus tells us to love ourselves. So we need to love ourselves. And we, we deserve that system of the thought system of, of um, love and joy, and we, we don't, we can choose to move away from the thought system of the ego, which is fear and anger. So here's another key. We cannot be bitter, judgmental, and still feel our connection to spirit. And we cannot stay connected to spirit when we're pushing against or resisting someone or something. Those, again, are throwing us out of balance. So why is this important? Because it affects our decision-making process. We're out of balance, we, and, uh, and not feeling connected then that affects our decision-making process because we're not connected to love. We're making decisions in the thought system of fear and fear and anger. And a lot of these decisions, even small decisions, we don't know how that's going to affect us down the road or affect others. Just a simple thing like, um, you know, I'm going to I'm going to take this class, or I'm going to go to this meeting, or I'm going to come to come to a Sunday service, and you never know who you're going to meet, what's going to happen, what inspiration you get, what door might open. So these decisions are all important. And when we're balanced, we can see um, both sides of a situation, so we can, we can choose appropriately and make choices that are for the highest and best good for all concerned. And that's important, not just for me, but for all concerned. 
And we don't have to make these just most of these big decisions quickly. We can wait until we we're, we're feel balanced, feel connected to spirit. And if we're not, then do like they say, sleep on it until you are feeling connected. Because our, our, uh, we want to maintain our focus. And you're going to hear me repeating the same things over, over and over again. The goal is feeling peace and joy for all concerned. And talking about energies, of course, the energy of, of peace and love is here. The energy of fear and anger is here. So we decide which energies we want to be our point of attraction. And in other words, we can't, well, let me put it this way. If we focus on the problems of ourselves and others, then we can't focus on the solutions because the, the energy of the problem and the energy of the solution is different. So we, if we focus on the energies of solutions, then we're connected to spirit, then the divine ideas, the divine energy, the divine wisdom can flow. And then we can decide, what is there for me to do? And what makes me in an all around peaceful and joyful? So here's an affirmative prayer that I like. I give thanks for the never ending stream of divine life flowing through me as me. May I be a point of light and inspiration for others. Of course, if I want to be a point of light, point of be a light for others, and I've got to be balanced. We all have to be balanced. So in the world, everything we see is either an act of love or a call for love. And to me, that really takes a load off of my shoulders because I don't have to take on the neg negativity of, of the world. I can see it as a call for love and act lovingly. Whatever it is there is for me to do. Maybe I go and help with a situation. Maybe I send money. Maybe I send prayers. And Thich Nhat Hanh put a, a little different analogy. He says, an entire sea of water cannot sink a ship unless it gets into the ship, it gets inside the ship. Similarly, the negativity, negativity of the world cannot put you down unless you allow it to get inside you. So we don't have to take it on. We can allow it to pass through. There's actually a Buddhist um, meditation called Tonglen meditation where you take the, the, the ills of the word and you, world and you let it flow through you and out, but you don't hold on to it. <sighs> so I'll take a deep breath because that, that breath helps integrate those spiritual energies and knowledge. And as Rita talked about last week, we want to recognize our value and change our thinking to knowing that our life matters, that we are the Christ spirit, the Christ consciousness, and every single one of us matters. And tremendously, we, and our, what we do affects the whole universe, really. We don't know with one little act of kindness ripples out into the world, or an act of anger can ripple out into the world in ways that we don't know. So this belief in our, this is moving on the air, belief in our unimportance is a block to our balance. And of course blocks that uh, 
that energy. So I have a prayer that I'd like to, uh, to do. And if anybody's interested, there are copies of this prayer in the reception area if you'd like one. So I invite you to uh, close your eyes if you like, relax your mind and your body, and take these words on as your own. This is about choices and it's about fasting and feasting. I fast from judging others. I feast on beholding the Christ in them. I fast from bitterness. I feast on forgiveness. I fast from discontent. I feast on gratitude. I fast from anger. I feast on patience. I fast from worry. I feast on divine order. I fast from complaining. I feast on appreciation. I fast from hostility. I feast on non-resistance. I fast from problems that overwhelm. I feast on the power of prayer. Amen. <sighs> so the main point here is we balance, maintain our spiritual balance by little, little choices rather than falling into that pit of judgment or anger or resentment. But it's a constant effort. It's, it's like walking, a constant effort of balancing and rebalancing. And it's not like a, a sh light shines down from heaven and says, oh, okay, you're, just, you're spiritually balanced now, and that's it. It's a constant, constant effort. And Rob and I didn't, didn't uh, coordinate any of the music or anything, but uh, A Closer Walk With Thee is a perfect song for this. The, uh, the lyrics, in your presence I am strong. Truly nothing can go wrong. I am satisfied as long as I walk, dear Lord, close to thee. Or I would modify that last line, with thee or hand in hand with thee. That's what it's all about, being connected. So to summarize, we are love. And we are not, when we are not feeling our essence of peace, joy, love, and gratitude, then we're in balance because we're not feeling our connection to spirit. But we can observe and catch ourselves each time that imbalance happens and rebalance ourselves. And with that awareness, making new choices, and that new choice comes to us faster and faster each time. And then we feel our connected spirit and we can walk through life with ease. As you know, I always like to close with an affirmation. So today's affirmation is my life is balanced and connected to spirit. My life is balanced and connected to spirit. Let's say that together. My life is balanced and connected to spirit. Let's say it one more time with feeling. My life is balanced and connected with spirit. Can I hear an amen? amen. All right.